Hi guys, welcome to this session on SharePoint lists. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple list, how you can link lists to other lists, and what the difference is between a SharePoint list and Microsoft app lists, the list app. So first of all, I'm on my SharePoint site. I'm going down to site contents, and in site contents, you will be able to create a new list. So there is all the site contents. You've got some lists there. Look, you can see them already. At the top there, you've got new, and then in there, you've got lists. So I'm going to click on list. And then I'm basically going to create a blank list. But just so you can see, these are pre-formatted lists. These are lists with the columns already set out. You might want to just create one of these and edit this list. You've got the option there from a list that you've already created. So from one of these, or you can even import from an Excel spreadsheet. But I'm going to create a blank list and then it's asking me for a list. So I'm doing, just going to do one for video type. Um, you've got the option there to put a description, but I'm just going to leave that off. I do recommend you put that on because then it appears in, in this list here. You can see these some of these lists. Create. Now that will create the list and what you get is a title column which I'm going to rename straight away to video ID. Video and it's just going to be a number column video ID. Save. Now it's fairly straightforward what you do here you rename the columns or you add a column so the first step is to add a column so the column I want is going to be text because it's going to be description. But you've got these other options here that I'll pick on some of these as you go down. You know, currency, location, etc., image, and then lookups. Now, for you to use a lookup, you have to have a related table, a table of information that you want. And then you've got this link to all column types, which takes you into SharePoint settings, and you can pick up other column types. And to be honest, this quite often you do go in there, and you can create columns in there as well. I'll show you that in a second, but let's just create a few columns so if i go text for this first one and then next it will ask me for names so i'm just going to put item as a description and then you've got different types of of column that you want there so you've got all the same sort of things date time choice hyperlink etc um image uh, i'll do that one in a minute but basically i'm going to leave this first one as a single line of text and then save in that and then that will appear in this list so go for another one so I do want to go for um, let's click on text again next and this time I'll call it YouTube and I won't have it as a line of text I'll have it as image and then basically what you need to do is save and then You'll have to basically put an image in there when you do when you do the edit and add things. So YouTube, and then I'll have a another. I'll have a number column for this. Can be like duration, next duration of the video. Duration. This is just going to be a number. Save, and then I want to add a, a an option column where I can pick a different choice. So this is going to be like. Um, I want it to be sort of like saying um, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, etc. So I'll go for choice. You see a little preview there. Next. So I'll um, this will be topic. And then you've got these choices. So I'll just I'll just do a few so you'll get the idea. So I'll go Excel, Word, Access. So there's the three choices. I'll add another one. I'll just do um, PowerPoint so you can see that you can just add other ones. PowerPoint. And then save that. So you get a, a topic choice there. Now, for you to enter anything, you need to be going into editing grid view. Or you can pick a different view as well. There are some different um, things you can do over here, like gallery view. 
you can create your own view as well you can save your own view but if I click on gallery there's no information there because I'm not typed anything but if I go back to editing grid view you'll see this list so if I just do a couple of items so item sales in Excel for example and then this is now where you add the image so I'm going to add an image um, from my YouTube thumbnails so you can see how that works and then I'll just pick any old thing so that will put the image in there upload that image so it just uploads that image and then the duration of this video say was five minutes I could have put that as time and topic is Excel and then I'll do another one so this is going to be video item 2 um, access for beginners and again I'm going to pick up another image add image and then just pick up intro that brings that up upload that I think the duration is 20 minutes and it is access is the option I want so that's basically how you fill the thing in you create the columns you create the type of columns and then you input the information just knock that one off so you must come off the line by the way um, if you've if you sort of come off this out of this screen while that's still pending it doesn't save it it um, leaves it there so each column has its little drop down arrow at the top so you can rename it sorted and then you've got column settings and do this all these sort of things there change the type if you don't like that type every column's got the same when you click into an item you've got this these three sort of like tools there these ellipses gives you some options to edit and that one is um, a share and then you've got that one there I don't want to share that with anybody and you've got like a, a comment feel there so it just gives you a comment option that you can put on that I'll just get rid of that so everyone is the same I'll come back onto this bottom line now if you look at the um, other things that we've got like I said there before we've got if I come off this editing grid view so that's the I quite like that view to be honest it's probably better than um, the list view it's definitely better than the list view so I'll leave it on gallery for now so because obviously the picture is a lot bigger and easy to see you just click into the item and it'll give you the details for that item so that's a, a very basic list now if I just go and um, go back to the home page so I'm out of it all together and then I come on to my SharePoint site again I click on the SharePoint site it loads the SharePoint site up and then now if I go to site contents I can see all my lists and site contents but I've also got it down the left hand side because I had that ticked so I can just select it from there now what I've also got in lists is these three lists here so I've got customers products and sales so if I click on customers that list is just a list of customers so it's just names and the company what you've got under products is the same sort of thing a list of products and then the stock quantity and stock total so that is a calculation field you see that there's 250 pound and there's 10 of them and then I've got a sales table like so where you can select different things so what I want to do is create another sales table so it's going to go through the same sort of thing I want to create a lookup field that's going to pull in the customer name and a product field that's going to pull in the product then I want to do a calculation that's going to look at the price and multiply it by the quantity so I'm going to cross first of all though to a quick look at my lists if I go onto this icon it's going to show you all my lists so the list that I've just done was um, this list called YouTube videos that one I uh, know that's not the one I did that was video type that's the one I just did if I click on that that'll bring me into 
this area which strangely enough does not go back into SharePoint but goes into Microsoft Lists. Now if I click on Microsoft Lists you'll see it'll just show you all the same sort of lists but this is now in the app Microsoft Lists. Now what's the difference here? If I went New List, in fact I'll go into this one I've just done, so I'm in Microsoft Lists. If I go into the, the Settings cog in the top right hand corner, see I, like, I only get two options. I've got List Settings which will take me to the, the same place as it will in SharePoint List. This is the back end if you like of it, Settings. Now if I go back into SharePoint and click the same cog, let's see what comes up. So I'm back onto the um, SharePoint, I'll go into video type, so I'm in SharePoint, I'll click on the cog and I get a lot more options, SharePoint options. But when I click on list settings that does take me to the same place as I went through the app into the back end if you like and gives you a bit more options with these columns. So you've got some tools at the top. You've got the option at the bottom to create a column and then you've also got the option to edit the columns that you want to edit there. Now if I go um, just click on this video type link there which will bring me back to it. So I've got video ID there but it still says in, in, the, in the options and the settings, list settings, it doesn't say video ID. It still says title. So if I click on title there, it should open it up and I can change it there to video ID and it'll change it there as well. Okay to that, save that and go back into my list video type. So why there's two different sets of lists when you when you do this, I don't know, but it is um, easy enough to change it. So that's basically changing the label, and now I've changed it in settings. So if I go back up to this site, get into this site, so I'm out of lists, and I've decided I want to create that sales list that I was talking about, what I can do is go into site contents. Now I could have created this in the app if, as well. And I want to create new list, so new list, and this is going to be um, a blank list, and I'm going to call it video sales, and I'm going to use that customer and and the product tables for this. Create. So the first thing I need to do is this is going to be renamed as sales ID. So let's. I created the, uh, a list in this view before, but let's try and do it in the settings options. If I go into settings, list settings, you can still create uh, columns in here. So down the bottom, you've got create column. Now create column, column name. So I want this first column to be customer. Now I've already got a list with customers in it. So what I need this to be is a lookup list. And when you click on lookup list, this will change over and give you the options for it to look up a particular table. So get information from customers, customers, and I want the customer, not the customer ID, the company. So that's going to be the company. So that's a customer and it's looking up the customer table. That's all I want that to do. So I'll click OK to that. And now I want the product that they're going to buy. So a new column, create column. And then this is going to be the product. And again, this is going to be a lookup. Lookup. It takes us a few seconds to click over to the correct screen. So this is going to look at the products table. Products. And I want the product the word product that's what I want so it's going to get the product okay scroll down get okay now I want a a number field create column which is going to be the quantity Q 
I'm t this is a sales quantity. Quantity, it's just a straightforward number field. That's all I want. I don't want it in currency or anything. Clicking OK to that. I want the price column to be currency, so I'll set that to currency. So it flicks over and gives the options of setting the currency, so make sure it's picking up the right currency for your location. So that's correct for me. Click OK to that. And now what I, what I need to do is create a calculation that's going to look at that quantity and whatever the price is and come up with an answer. So if I create a column, I'll call this one total. Total. So this is going to be a calculated field. So if I click on calculation. It's going to give me the option now to do a calculation. So it's basically quantity times price. Now notice if you're going to type this, oops, I need the times in between. If you're going to type this, you've got to put these into square brackets, a bit like Microsoft Access and other programs. And this is going to be in currency as well, and it's picking up the same information. So I'll click OK to that. Now, I've done that, so what I'm going to do is have a look at what it looks like and put some data in to see if it works. Like so, so there's my columns, the customer, so I need to rename title actually. So again, remember if I rename it here, it doesn't necessarily re rename it. So this is going to be sales ID. Okay, save that. And then if I give myself edit sales ID number one, customer one. Okay, so it hasn't come up with a customer customer product I didn't use the customer ID I just use the um, so it's just show me the list that's good that's even better so I want two of these it's just a number price 500 quid and then total should bring that in automatically so if I go to a new record that's added that up so I'll do it again ID Click in there, customer, fix it, product, click in there, generate 500, 10, and these were 1,000 quid, and then click on the new item, and it works it out there. So all of that has worked how I expected it to work, so that's great. So now if I go back up to the selection area, and select lists, so I've gone into the app, that video sales, even though I did it in SharePoint as, as I did that one, is sitting there. If I click on it, it shows me those sales that I just did. And you can see the little new symbol there. I can still go back into settings through this, but I've only got one option like I showed you before. It takes me into the back end and I'm back to where I was. So if, for example, if I wanted to change that to sales ID, so it marries up with the actual column heading, sales ID. Okay to that. So I'm in actually in SharePoint now. So if I go back into, um, I'll just click into the, the list video sales there. And go into settings, I'm back to this. So once you go into settings, even though from the app you've only got two items, once you go into list settings, you are actually coming back into SharePoint and then you've got all the functionality in the back end that you saw there. But that's all I want to talk about on this little video. How to create a SharePoint lists list and how it interacts with Microsoft lists. A lot more functionality in the settings option that you can see that you can do uh, in SharePoint as opposed to the app. So hopefully this has helped you understand how to create a SharePoint list, how to create lookups, how to create calculations in a SharePoint list and also how to add images. We did that as well. So thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.